and salutations, everybody. My name's Crystal. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Eternal Darkness Saturday's Requiem. Last episode, we started playing as a Roman soldier or general for some reason after opening a tome as our actual main person, main protagonist, Alex. And now we just kind of got transported here. I don't know what the heck's going on. We also picked up all these blocks that match the symbols on the wall here. So, without further ado, this wall is prominently decorated with a strange line symbol carved to the granite. Cut into the wall is a square hole lined with scratches as though something has been removed from it. Hmm, I wonder what the heck that could be. Let's use it. Oh my god, we didn't even place it. We used our telekinesis to freaking make it appear in there. Maybe we just teleported it in there. Let me examine it now. What does it say now? Anything? The hole is filled with a granite block. The hole is filled with a penis. It cannot be removed as though magically sealed in the place. It magically spelled with a K. That's weird. I don't understand. Uh, okay, that says the same thing. Alright, then we won't read the rest of these. Oh my lord, our freaking teleportation, telekinesis powers have yielded success once again. Dude, I don't know why I keep reading these. I don't need to do it. I mean, I'm not reading them, but I keep clicking on them. Stupid clicks. Look at the F's, the double F's. One of them's upside down and the top F part of the F is like lightly angled words. That just looks like a freaking spaceship. Holy crap! That was an extremely complicated locking mechanism for that door. What is even the point? I don't think anybody will ever know. Alright. Dude, all you gotta do, Mr. Roman General, sir, is go forward in time a few thousand years when there's welders, and then use that to cut into the bars. Duh. Pios, you must prove your worth by destroying the statue. Pressing R will enable Pios switch which target to attack. Releasing R slightly and then pressing it again will cycle between multiple targets. I did see that before when we were shooting skeletons at the beginning. Peels can attack specific body parts while locked onto an enemy by moving control stick and pressing A. Use up to attack its head, use left and right to attack the arms. Okay, let's do this. Let's freaking destroy ancient artifacts for the sake of freaking god dang freaking... For the lols mostly. Oh, we gotta destroy that first. BAM SHAKALAKA! Man, you hit that thing so hard it disappeared from existence. Good job, there's no rubble or anything. I'm so freaking proud. God dang it, Pios. You peon. Ah! Holy crap, that just scared me. <laughs> I was not expecting skeletons again for some reason. Oh, no, 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 Oh! Eh, eh. Make it real back now! Wait, wait, I don't see if there's blocks. There's a block? Oh, no, it does not. Okay. Alright. Thank God for friendly fire. The friendly fire took that one skull. No, 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 dude! Come on. Get jiggy with it. Finish you. Yeah, I'm pressing R. It doesn't work. Okay. Is there another? Do I have another key? Oh, I'm starting to get tired, it appears. Alright, finish it. Finish it. Stab him through the back. Aw, yeah. Uh. A button, a baton is attached to a small pylon, softly illuminates the room. But our energy seems to radiate from it. Should Pios press a button? Nah, yeah, let's take a look at what else is in the room. I get the feeling that's gonna transport me through time again. Through time and space and everything. Right. I might just activate that teleport pad. I'm assuming that's what it is, considering that's the only thing available. Oh! There's a press in it. Oh no, I've made a terrible mistake! The consequences will never be the same! Alright, let's go inside. Let's see where this takes me. Teleporting, 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 Roman soldier. Let's walk gallantly towards it. I can run right now, but I'm not going to. What the heck are these things? There's a Metroid, and a Devil Y, and a Star Fox badge. Alright, let's check out the Metroid. Okay, shaped like a delicate dome, a pale blue statuette folds graciously above them. So Pios claimed the artifacts. Let's see what the other ones say first. A strange sculpture resembling a red clawed worm mysteriously folds above the pedestal. <laughs> it's totally a Satan, why? No, let's see what the last one says. Hey, it's the forest temple, the fire temple, and the water temple! Uh, 
an effigy resembling a warped angel shaped from the dark green emerald hovers effortlessly above the pedestal. Yeah, we'll claim this one. Four sample was the easiest, so let's let's take it. Actually, that's not true. Probably the fire. Well, maybe the fire temple was slightly more easy than the four sample. Please. Oh god. I got laser eyes now! Oh my god, I have become God himself! Or maybe Satan, actually. It's probably Satan, all things considered. Is that me? Or is that. Did that. Did me touching green things summon this asshole? Ah! It's the water temple. It's the water temple there. Eons have passed since then. Okay. And I have learned much. If I chose a different one of the difference as naive as a child. But now my mind is sharp. With the power of Zalatath, I can now read the thoughts of others and oh, make them cool. raving mad with a mere suggestion. Face me, and you shall surely perish. Okay. That was weird. I, what happened if I chose a different one? I'm really curious now. Alex has acquired the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Hey, that's why this game's called Eternal Darkness, because it's the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Alright, I got a feeling it's going to be with me the entire game, so let's take a look at it. Take a look at this book. That actually makes sense this time. Uh, this is the Tome <laughs> I like how the Skellington eyes blink. Like that. <laughs> That's so funny to me. Uh, this is the Tome of Eternal Darkness where experienced spells and... Oh, we get spells and enchanted items can be stored for future use. It has been made from fragments of human skin and bone endowed with magical powers. I can't get over how it's spelled with a K. Was this game made in Britain or something? I feel like that's a Britain spell. I mean, a Britain spelling. Sorry, I said spell because I saw this on the wall and I get a feeling we get like a spell from it or something. Strangely, with the Tome of Eternal Darkness in her position, Alex can read the page. Is a chapter page from the Tome itself. Should Alex take the chapter page? Alex found the chapter page of Child, the Binding of the Corpse God. Oh boy, how long is this gonna be? Oh boy. Who's it? Why not? I cannot say what was the true beginning. Oh, nice. Nor am I sure of its end. I thought I'd actually have to read. So perhaps here is the best place to start. <laughs> Thank God. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. True. Very I have true. discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine. And Ooh. legends are born. Like the Legend of Zelda? Are we... Oh, nice! Thy time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow time. will you be master of chaos. And to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. I feel like we're in like Brazil or something. Many millennia for this day. Definitely a rainforest setting. It is the true chaos of all things. That you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of, of flesh, flesh and bone. And you have a great monument here, Mantarok. It is a okay. pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. So was that the general I was actually playing with? Or it probably is, isn't it? May the dark chaos and damn beast. No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients. You have kept imprisoned. <laughs> Thou hast seen the last of this world. Or has it? Probably has it. It's probably gonna show up again. He's totally just gonna imprison it, isn't he? It's not gonna kill it. We're just gonna imprison it. Oh, that entire thing's his body? That's awesome! He's totally only weakening it. <sighs> Not even these mythical fables can keep me amused. No. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and of higher purpose could happen to me. Ha <laughs> ha Be careful what you wish for, you might just get it. Hey, what's going on? I like how she's not scared. Oh, we got- what do we have? 
Short sword. Oh, no, let's clip it. Let's not make the same mistake we did before. Let's see what it says. Short sword with a wooden grip. Light and durable. A small curve running from the high the blade makes it for hacking rather than stabbing. Okay, then. Okay. I'm sure thought I would say something different or not. Dude, how come she occasionally stabs with it then? Crazy. So we're definitely in like a rainforest setting here. It definitely feels like one of those ancient temples. It's not, I want to say Peru, but it's not. It's, it's, it's like the Mexico area. Or no, it's more like the South American area, isn't it? I don't know what they're called. I don't know nothing of it. Let's just take this ancient artifact for no freaking reason other than just because we got locked in here for some strange reason. Essentially, you have a goddess delicately sculptured over sandstone, or from sandstone, cast, it casts an alert eye over everyone who enters the temple. What are you talking about? The eyes are closed, you silly. There's a strange necklace about its neck. Should Ilya take the necklace from the statue? Why not? What's the worst thing that could happen? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. They have automated doors back then? What? The necklace can be used to heal Ilya. Or Ilya? Ilya. It's probably Ilya. Make sure that Ilya does not move when the spell is being cast. Okay. Say, wait, does it say anything else now? Okay. Nope. Yep, I could still, in fact, swing a sword. I could swing my sword. So I probably should have went through that door before, shouldn't I? Because now it's closed. Have any info in it? Oh, great, more skeletons. Well, are you not aware people are dead in this temple? These people have clearly been here for a long time, ma'am. All right, what do you say? Anything? Ooh, there's like a saw blade on there for some reason. So that wall appears to be a decept of time of day. Perhaps the candles do too? Okay. Just so the fact that it's on the far right doesn't mean it's like night or something. Okay, I almost, I almost feel like I should always be walking just so I can be ready when I have to get something. Ah, totally a trap! Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, dude, come on now. Just, just, just run through it all. Okay, that went well. <laughs> I hear skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons. Ah, oh, whoa. All right, goes in twos. Also appears going twos. All right, now that was easy. Dude, I was just talking about how it's cool how they didn't over-sexualize Alex, but this girl's totally over-sexualized. Whoa, that's cool. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! When located by creatures, the sanity loss occurs, causing a decrease in the levels of sanity meter and the character to pulse green. Beware! Sanity loss affects perception and eventually health. Alright. Good to know, good to know. Alright, this popped up for no reason. Sandy Mina, this Mina represents character Sandy every time he or she meets a monster. Is her Sandy will get lower. <clears throat> Those skeletons not count then? Skeletons? The more the Sandy Mina gets, the more the character will hallucinate. Oh yeah, that heals me, right. Alright, just just kill. Just kill. Oh yeah, how could you even be scared when you're that badass, ma'am? Oh, okay, I guess we're examining this now. Sand wall appears to say time of day. Oh, I see. It's not a saw blade. It's a freaking sun. Uh, press to extinguish the candles. Okay. Well, it's clearly... I mean... That was obvious. <laughs> Is that the zest? So it only makes sense to be the middle candle. Alright. Hey, it's the symbols again. Oh, the, the zombie's back. Oh, zombie. For me, a fishing move of the creature will cover sanity. Oh, my, my controller's vibrating. What's going on? Why are you vibrating? Oh, are you going to explode? Are you going to explode? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, that probably would have hurt me a lot. Oh, nice. The body parts stay here. Oh, what's that? What? Okay. I don't know what that means, but... The grave on the floor is a striking design featuring a brightly burning sun. What was that noise? Hello? Hello? Let's take take it a bronze necklace at the top the ancient urn. Of course we will steal it. Oh, we need to kill more zombies. What are you? Uh Welcome after bronze necklace resplendent with glowing gems. 
Resplin. God dang you game using large words that confuse my tiny, my tiny stoop brain. Oh no. Ah, I forgot about you! Alright. Ooh, I totally should be dead. Can we examine anything here? These little alcoves confuse me. Cause there's been a lot of that so far in the game, and a lot of them seem to do anything. Like, look, look on the wall on this torch here. It looks like there's something I grabbed there. Like a piece of the wall sticking out more than the others. Oh god dang it! I don't have as much health of the health as the Roman soldier. Uh striking sun sinking below the edge of the world. Oh no. Oh, okay. Let's just go. Kill! But these eyes are green! Why are his eyes green? I can't do a finishing move! This is unfortunate! Okay, let's run! Eh, go! Wait, when it says I recover sanity when I use a finishing move, is it literally only when I do like a finishing move or is it when I like, you know, finish a monster up? Oh, I can kill him. Nice. Okay, there we go. We got some back. Great. Kill him. We did it! We're getting sanity for killing evil skeleton things! Yay! Dude, she totally like splits the spine in half. That's awesome. That looks right to me, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, that looks correct to me. Sunset, yeah. Okay. Should we go the other way or something now? Maybe? That'd be great. <clears throat> okay, this door is still closed. Door is now closed, but remember Ellie's passage to the other side of life? Always look on the bright side of life. Okay. Now what do we do? Is this a door? Nope. Oh, stop being tired. You just killed a bunch of skeletons. You should be happy. Oh, there's those symbols again. Oh, the spaceships in the... Does it combine all three symbols? It looks like it kind of does. Trying to design this kind of floor. The etch grooves are filled with colored sand. The symbol appears... Relate to the other, which one, wh <coughs> with one having pre pre precedence of after another. Blah, blah, blah. Too many readings. Uh, <coughs> there's a firmly shut ceiling. The temple. Perhaps there's another escape somewhere in the temple. I should have read that before. Does this woman just kind of find this temple and just kind of just chill here? This is your favorite chill spot? Hey, there's blood. Why is there blood? Hello. D did she not? care that there's just random blood coming out of literally nowhere. Look at that. It's not coming from the roof. It's just coming out of nowhere. It's pretty magical, actually. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I just didn't do that other puzzle correctly. Okay. Stupid time puzzle wasting my time. Hua. Hua. Alright, let's go back this way. Do you see anything? There was double silently, but not for Ilya to get over it. Okay. No. No. Ilya, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of here. Okay. Uh, appears to set the middle stage of the day, the day of mankind. The image now represented by the candles as well. I can't change it anymore. Great. Now do I use this freaking bronze necklace sword? Do we check it? What did it say again? Yeah, with glowing gems. Wait, check it. Over. Dude. What, what the what the heck's going on? How come it just switch screens on me? Oh, oops. What the what? 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 That that just heals me, right? Uh, some grave with weird designs could be using healing spell when only standing still. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> oh, we gotta put that necklace on the bronze statue. Fast forward away. Ow. I am an idiot. Ha 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 ha. No, let's use it. Come on, that was stupid. I should have known. Dude, once again, teleporting, 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 levitation spell, something, freaking goddamn, whatever. 
Uh, there's a bronze necklace about its neck. Yep, there is indeed. Ah, oh, man. What's gonna be this way? I guess we'll just have to wait to see you in the next episode! Haha! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching! That looks correct. Yeah, that's correct. How come all these are correct so far? This is striking design featuring the sun rising above the edge of the world, yeah. And that's the first can candle representing the start of a new day. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Eternal Darkness. That is Requiem. This game. Whoa! Well, that's unfortunate and kind of annoying, actually. How am I supposed to know where those are coming from? I seem to be saying in a safe spot. Thank you guys so much for watching in the next episode! We'll to finish this portion of the game and start on maybe someone else's. The third person thing. You know, there's the Roman general, now we're this girl, and this one more. There's gotta be. Thank you all guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye! I love you. I love you.